This is the Old Musician's Blog 102. Tonight uh, we'll be playing uh, Stardust, we'll be playing uh, Belfiore, uh, which is the very fancy winery. And uh, uh, Paul, our saxophone player, is on a, on a, a, a trip uh, today, so we have uh, Steve, uh, Steve Davidson sitting in, he's, and he's very good, one of the uh, uh, top uh, tenor players in the area on call and so we're very lucky he adds a, um, a very uh, 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 sophisticated jazz feel to his uh, his playing and so I'm very happy to have him with us uh, tonight and um, there's some paperwork uh, um, because as as uh, as the case may be we uh, we shuffle around the payments from one person to another so that these um, venues only have to write one check. And um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Casey's been uh, taking, uh, doing the payroll, and now it's my turn. So uh, I've got my uh, W-9, I think they're called now, um, um, ready to uh, turn in, and uh, I'll take it for the next four months or so, and then... Tim will take it after that, uh, and uh, so we rotate in that way, and um, that way um, one person doesn't get stuck for the tax bill of the payment for um, for everyone, uh, which is a kind of a funny, uh, it's just a funny issue, it's just one of those uh, extra hoops that you have to jump through um, in order to uh, 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 get paid. Um, a couple of years ago we got... Um, uh, we got uh, the um, uh, a call. A call came in from uh, somebody from one of the government agencies, and they were trying to make sure that um, we were actually self-employed. That I was actually self-employed, and um, not a uh, uh, not em an employment of one of the people who uh, had turned in the W-9s, in that case, Martino's. And um, uh, I, thought it was, I thought it was suspect because here's somebody calling me out of the blue wanting all of this information, so I was very resistant to it. And, um, um, uh, but what really struck me was how little they know about what it's like being a working musician um, in, 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 in this area, in this state, in this country, and um, how, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, you bounce from one gig to another, and, um, you know, if you're lucky, you get a steady gig, but that doesn't mean you're an employee, far from it. And... Um, <laughs> and uh, so uh, 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 eventually they they realized that I was working more than the Martinos gig because I started telling them about how it is that you know you, you know uh, um, you know we often have to accept one check from somebody and then rotate it and then they say oh uh, so you actually play at this retirement home and that retirement home and this uh, um, and this other uh, um, um, uh, venue and this. Uh, 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 bakery and this, uh, you know, and this and that and the other thing on all the different places that we play, and that. Um, so then they sort of uh, uh, backed off because at at that point they were going to have to say, well, uh, you know, we don't know what you are, <laughs> you know, and they that means they have to investigate you further, I suppose. But anyway, so it's interesting how um, how the um, gig employment. Uh, system works here in this country and how little is known about it um, uh, you know and not just music gigs but all kinds of gig economy I think they call it now and how little uh, you know uh, bureaucrats in the government know about it I thought that was just interesting in itself <laughs>